All right, guys, welcome to the second ever viewing and uh, recording of Five Minute Telephysio Talks, the longest title for the shortest interview. I'm pretty excited uh, to tell you guys who we're meeting with today. He's a guy I've gotten to work with uh, quite a bit over the past couple of months, uh, and it's been a blast. His name is Micah Herndon. He is a staple in the Akron running community. Uh, if you have been around this area, you probably know about him. Uh, he's got some cool things going on. He is a Marine. Uh, he is a father of one, uh, and he is, um, like I said, a staple in the running community. If you have been paying attention to him in the media at all, you've probably seen him uh, running out with the flag at the Browns game, um, probably the most successful part of that season, which has been awesome. Uh, helped out with the Cavs a little bit, um, um, doing some stuff um, on their media as well. And then uh, as far as actually we saw you on Good Morning America, uh, and he was just telling us that he <laughs> ran into Michael Strahan walking out of the bathroom, which isn't a bad, bad person to run into, a little frightening. Um, <laughs> he actually told us at the beginning of this, while as we know he is a Marine, he will do his best not to swear. Tim and I have not figured out how to put in the, the beeping or the blurbing yet if it does occur. So if it does, we'll try our best just to make it not happen. But if it does happen, I, I think our country and the people listening are more than okay with that. Uh, so, you know, without further ado, I'll let Tim kind of take some of the questions and talk to and get to hear a little bit about what's going on, Micah. All right. Sounds good. All right, Tim, go ahead, man. Cool. Micah, thanks for being on our little tiny show today. Uh, I was, as everyone out there who kind of watched this, degree knows I'm Dr. Tim Pavlik here with Dr. Mike. Um, and uh, I know that we are as professional as Michael Strahan, so we'll try to act so today. Um, we have a couple <laughs> questions for you that we can go back and forth on. Our first question was, do you run for some pretty powerful reasons? I know there are three names that are on your shoes, right? And that are on yeah. your tag, you know, of the yeah. three. Uh, yeah, my, uh, my guys I do run for um, is, you know, Ballard, Hamer, and Juarez. I serve with them over in Afghanistan, and I served with uh, Juarez uh, in Iraq and Afghanistan. So, yeah, yeah. you know, it's 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 deep down. It, it comes from uh, straight from the heart for me. And obviously yeah, yeah. Uh, from my previous interviews with all throughout the media and whatnot, I don't really care if I cry and I don't care. I mean, I'm human and, yeah. uh, you know, I wear my heart on my sleeve. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, and you know, if someone knocks me for that, then oh well. I was just gonna say, what really, uh, what what I found is, uh, you have to find your reason. You know, throughout life, you have to find your why. And uh, you know, I know all military members. Once we get out, we had the highest of reasons. We're defending a country, and we're defending mm -hmm. you know our loved ones back at home. Once we get out, we kind of lose our identity. And uh, so that was, you know, that was uh really why I got off track uh, early on and once I did uh, you know I found running I found my purpose and I found my reason and I found my why kind of part of this when we're talking to athletes when identify their passion why they're runners and yours is very apparent and even on a national stage very apparent um, we wouldn't mind if you kind of touched upon you know the physical manifestation that running's taking on your body and kind of how things that you and Dr. Mike have gone back and forth on and how you're keeping yourself healthy going forward you know so that even the stuff that's deep down in you can be unleashed from a physical standpoint early on and even still today i'm i'm so damn hard headed and uh <laughs> stubborn you know the reason why i do run is to get my emotion out and it's for my mental uh capacity and so i'm always thinking go hard go hard you know sweat it out mm -hmm. go hard get out the demons go hard go hard and that ain't the way it should be but yeah the reason i got in contact with uh, you guys and in particular doc dr mike um Shortly after the Boston happened, uh, I was shopping at Second Soul, and uh, I saw one of your guys' cards there and, you know, talked to the workers there and tried to, uh, you know, really see what you guys dive, what you guys do. And uh, they said, I heard something about dry needling, and uh, everyone swore by it. So uh, I made an appointment got set up with Dr. Mike and um, ever since that moment, uh, the, our very first uh, appointment, it's been nothing but, uh, you know, recovery for me. What was bothering me was uh, my, I think I'm saying it right, uh, the glute med and uh, the piriformis. I had that problem even 
before the Boston, uh, when I was on my taper, I started to notice it. And, uh, it, it was, a uh, pretty crippling to be honest with you. Um, and it still, it still is, but now I have, uh, some knowledge, uh, that I did get from other runners in the community and also, uh, Dr. Mike. And, uh, so really, uh, right now I'm in a pretty good, pretty good place as far as, uh, my recovery goes, my workouts, uh, what I need to know as far as uh, my triggers on my piriformis and the glute meat and all that stuff. Hearing you tell me, you're like, I just sit in my car. I just sit on that lacrosse ball, <laughs> do my exercise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Early on. He's like, I just live with that thing. Get up in the morning, get my phone, get my lacrosse ball, head out the door. <laughs> well, it's funny you say that I'm at work right now on lunch break, but uh, I actually carry it uh, with me in my lunch box. <laughs> it's Right here. There it is. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Now, even, even, when I, it. <laughs> even when I'm driving or just when I'm sitting down, I, I'm always sitting on that thing. Hey, man, we, we have huge respect for you, for everything you're doing for uh, the community, for all the awareness you bring, that running's not just a, a physical game. It's a mental game, too. Um, everybody's got stuff in the basement, and you got to release that stuff. I think Rocky Balboa said that, so it's a good quote. You know, we all got stuff in the basement. Everybody's stuff is different, but respect for you that you are uh, making that apparent to the world and uh, making a difference out there, man. So thanks for taking the time. We appreciate you, Micah. Hey, thank you. And thank you for, uh, for uh, even considering me. So I just appreciate yeah. it and uh, continue being blessed and uh, just got to put head down and push through.